Hello, I am Ashish Tarbari, founder and CEO of Axomize. Uh, and those of you who have not been listening to our videos before, this is our new conversation series in conversation with Axomize. So today I'm going to be talking about simulation and formal. So let's see what it's all about. So simulation, especially dynamic simulation, has been in use for many years uh, for verification and formal verification has been slowly getting adopted uh, in mainstream verification. So how do these two things compare? So on one hand, the most widely used form of dynamic simulation is constraint random, which the name suggests uh, is random uh, in nature in the presence of constraints. And on the other hand, you have formal verification, which is systematic uh, state space search leading up to exhaustive verification. So in order to get a better hang of what these things are and what they should be used for, um, I think you should take a step back and talk about methodologies. So if you're doing SOC verification, then it's basically about catching bugs both at the IP level as well as the full SOC. So what we are ideally aiming to get at is try and get most of your bugs early in design verification, achieving the shift left paradigm through formal because it's quick, it's cheap, um, it's more efficient at bug hunting. Then you go higher up at the subsystem level and system level and apply more dynamic simulation and finally going to the full system, getting emulation to find your system level bugs. So a good verification plan is the key and that should be the focus uh, in any good verification and it should capture essences of uh, requirements both for the IP as well as the SOC level. Uh, if you're applying formal, think of applying uh, apps at the right time for the right reason and uh, use good methodologies uh, that we are promoting in Axomize for obtaining high quality functional formal verification. Uh, start early, that's the key. Use automated apps whenever you can and, and use uh, user-defined properties, you know, session-based verification throughout uh, your functional verification. And coverage should really begin in the first hour, you know, um, all of your code coverage, structural coverage uh, type activity should begin in the first hour. Your unreachability should begin in the first hour. Uh, you shouldn't have to wait until your whole design is finished to start running your structural coverage checks. Uh, and if you're running a session based verification, you know, you'll be writing your cover properties, you'll be analyzing the effect of constraints on your test benches, all of that could begin in the first hour. And think of this as being going agile, and that's the key. So simulation-based verification flow, you're at a very high level, you know, we have a strategy, we have a plan, it goes into a test bench, which typically consists of a scoreboard, constraints, some checkers, lots of apparatus needed for stimulus generation, and then running your code coverage and functional coverage to sign off. And typically, you know, you, you, you kind of go from specification on the left hand side into this path and then from specification you'll be writing your designs in some kind of Verilog or VHDL or even System C. And then you feed both of them into a simulator which tells you if your given tests are being uh, passed or are they failing. You know, if they're failing they could be bugs, you go and fix them. And finally you run your coverage analysis and decide whether you want to tape out. Interestingly, this is not very different from how formal verification is run in practice. Except, as you would notice, there is no effort needed on stimulus generation here. But the same specification is used to build up a verification strategy and verification plan. Uh, the test bench is then fed into a formal tool, along with your design implementation models at RTL level C++, System C, Verilog, VHDL. And the tool here is able to give you not only failures hinting at bugs, but also is able to get you an exhaustive proof of correctness. This is a very important uh, artifact or formal. And then you run your coverage analysis as usual to figure out uh, what is reachable, what is not, how complete you are in your verification, and if you're happy then you can tape out. So the key difference to note here is there is, there is no stimulus required, you get exhaustive proofs, and the debug time scales are much shorter than simulation uh, because of the way the formal verification works. So if you are interested in understanding how to apply formal in your projects, then come and talk to us. You know, uh, we've opened Axomize this year with the vision of making formal mainstream for all design verification. And we teach you how to solve the toughest verification problems of formal, break down complex problems, 
with abstraction and other problem reduction techniques. Uh, we teach you what works in the field. We have no interest in teaching you language syntaxes and stuff like that, which you can find in textbooks uh, and, and, and so on. We share with you what you need to know and, and just about what you need to know to become productive with formal in your project work. So our training programs are very well designed and thought about, which let you have the best of the skills and methodology in a very short amount of time. And you know, if you still are missing something after the training programs, we provide you support after the training so you continue to be successful. So really you shouldn't be uh, waiting for this any longer. You know, I have personally delivered training uh, in the last many years trained uh, now nearly 100 engineers. Uh, a lot of these now work at Apple, Arm, uh, Imagination, Facebook, Synopsis, OneSpin, uh, been in trenches for a long time uh, doing projects. So I understand project deadlines, understand resource development, training requirements, uh, been in the field for 20 years doing formal verification. So, so you know, don't wait anymore. Take your first step, uh, you know, become a pro. Come and start your formal verification journey with us. Come and talk to us. Uh, interested in training? Go to xmis.com slash formal underscore training. Uh, looking forward to hearing uh, from you and uh, uh, excited to share the joy of formal.